Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Haya HW100 B14939 washing machine. What I want to do today is to show you around the washer some of the features and benefits that it offers. Just for a start, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just give us a quick thumbs up. If you've followed me on YouTube for a while, you've probably noticed that I've not really talked about Haya appliances a lot before. Uh, I'll be honest, the suppliers we normally get them from don't normally do a lot with Haya, but it is one of these brands that they are supplying now and we've got several of the Haya appliances. And I must admit, on first impression, I'm actually really impressed. Now this model does come in different load sizes and also different colours. So just check out some of the links below uh, because the models keep on changing. Now, I suppose the main thing I always mention when you're buying a washing machine, it doesn't have to be necessarily this one, just check to make sure it's going to fit in. Uh, so all I'll do, just before we start going through the washing machine details, just check the measurements on it. So the width, 23 and a half inches or 60 centimetres, that tends to be pretty standard anyway. And the height is 30, just under 33 and a half inches or around 84 and a half centimetres high. And then the depth, so if you go in front to back, if you go into the very back of the machine to the front lip here, then you're looking around again 60 centimetres or 23 and a half inches. If you want to go to the door, so to the very front, then really you're looking at 67 centimetres or just under 26 and a half inches. What I'm going to do now to show you some of the programs that it offers. Now, first of all, it's got a really shiny fascia here. Um, although I do like the look of it, uh, hopefully you can see everything on here because I'm getting a lot of reflection from it uh, through the camera. Uh, but first of all, you've got the main control dial on the right hand side here. Uh, it's really nice, easy to turn dial, so it doesn't matter which way you rotate it. And you'll see you've got a fantastic LED display. Uh, I must say, this is probably one of the best ones I've seen. What you'll find, this is the time remaining of each program. So when you turn the dial, that will change depending on the time or the duration of the program. So I'm not going to go through all of the programs, but I'll just give you a quick overview. Uh, first of all, I suppose if we start at, the, start at the beginning, the refresh program is normally a really good program. If you've just got some clothes that have been in the cupboard for a while, you just want to give them a, a quick wash. Um, it's not a full program by any means, because this is only a one kilogram program, uh, then that's an ideal one for you. And as it says, it'll do that in around 18 minutes. So the first program on here is a refresh program. This is a really good one if you've had something in the cupboard for a while and you just want to give it a quick refresh through the machine then that's a really good option. It is only a one kilogram load so you will find that it's it's only a small load that you can put in and I suppose if you are going to um, if you've had something in the cupboard and you just want to give it a quick uh, I suppose whiz through the machine then that's a good option. Then the next program on here is the quick 15 and this is more of a washing program than the refresh. Uh, so with this one, it's a 15 minute program, and this is good, again, if you've had something in the cupboard for a while, but you want to give it more of a wash, uh, rather than just a refresh, as in the top program. Although the capacity on this machine is 10 kilograms, very few other programs actually offer the ability to wash a full 10 kilograms on. And what I mean by that, are that some of these programs, you can only wash at a much smaller load. So for example, on this one, so although it's a quick 15, you can only wash up to six kilograms on it. So if you were to put the full 10 kilograms in, all that will happen, it will take a lot longer than the 15 minutes. So it's not really recommended. Uh, the next one on here, this is the, the fast wash. And this one you can do a full 10 kilograms. Uh, the maximum temperature on this is up to 40 degrees. Now I'll just show you some of the options on here. Uh, I'll show you the, let's go from underneath. So if you press the, the temperature button, so you will find that it displays it on here. So 20, 30, 40, so that's the maximum temperature. And you can wash it just in the temperature of the water that's arriving into the machine. And that will reduce the time as well. But with that one, that's 47 minutes. And then if you go up to say a 40 degree, then that one increases the time a little bit because clearly it's got to heat the water up. That takes up to around an hour and seven minutes. But to do a full load in around that time of 10 kilogram washing is actually really good. Uh, as you come around, you've got some of the specialized programs, woolen, delicate. So on the woolen, for example, that's a maximum of three kilograms. As you come around to the delicates, again, that's three kilograms. Uh, you've got the cotton 20. So with that one, again, you can go up to the full 
10 kilograms on that one. Uh, Eco 40 to 60, that's one of the main more economical washes on here. So with that one, again, you can wash the full 10 kilograms. That's quite a standard program, should be on all washing machines now. Uh, you will find that some of the wash times are pretty long, but at two and a half hours, if you're comparing that to other machines on the market, that is actually really good. It's quite a, quite a short program. You will find, compare them to some of the other manufacturers. For a similar load size, you are looking around three, three and a half, sometimes even four hours for that kind of wash. So just compare some of the wash times with some of the competitors. You've got the option for just to spin only. So if you just wanted to spin on its own, then that's the option at the bottom. The maximum spin speed on this machine is up to 1400 spin. So you can change it up to 1400, or if you wanted to, you can reduce it. So it starts at 400, 600, 800, 1000, 12, and then goes up to 1400. And as you come around, you've got some of the other specialized programs. So you've got shirt, baby care, allergy care. Some of these programs can be really good. Uh, so things like allergy care. If you've got somebody in the household that suffers with things like allergies, um, then that can be a, a very good program to use. Uh, what it tends to do, it tends to increase the number of rinses within the program. Also, it can get up to temperature a bit quicker as well. Uh, as you, and Sorry, some of the load sizes on those. So on the shirt program, it's a maximum three and a half kilograms. The baby care is five kilograms. And the allergy care, you're up to the full 10 kilograms. Uh, as you come around to the duvet program, uh, that's again it's designed to pop your duvet in there if you want to uh, or single large items you will find a lot of washing machines now struggle to spin large items on their own or just one single item and that's why they've put this kind of program on the duvet program um, what it will do is it will just distribute the load or try and distribute it uh, evenly uh, that's the main pr problem with some machines now that they struggle to distribute a single large item so if you're washing something like you do there then that's really the best program to put it on uh, and that's claiming up to five kilograms as the maximum load and then some of these are pretty standard so you've got the mix synthetics and then the cotton and of course as you come around to these so you've got the five kilograms and then 10 and then 10 at the top here so as far as some of the other options so you've got quite a few other options on the front here then you've got the delay start let's just come underneath so what that will do is that will start the program at a later date and if you keep pressing it it goes up in half an hour increments which i'll be honest i'm not really sure why it goes up in half an hour increments most manufacturers just go up in one hour increments but Hayer have decided to to go up in half an hour increments so you can go up to 24 hours here and then it just goes back to the standard time of the program so the delay time is a really good option if you've got things like economy 7 at home where you want it to delay the start of the program uh, for economy reasons or even if you're just out if you're out and you decided to delay the start of the program then that could be a very good option I'll just show you one or two of the other options so you've got the anti-crease option this is really good if you well it's got a little symbol here for an iron with a, a little uh, symbol next to it to help reduce the amount of ironing so all that will do is that will it's like a lower agitation spin towards the end of the program and all that will do is it just adds a well it takes a little bit of time off clearly it's not going to add time on but because it's a lower agitation spin and it's not going up to the full spin speed uh, then you've got the temperature option I showed you that earlier that's where you can alter the temperatures uh, spin speed I've already showed you that so that goes up from 400, 600, 800, 1000, 1200, all the way up to 1400. Extra rinse option, so that's a, again a very good option. If you've got somebody in the household that suffers with things like skin allergies, then you can add extra rinses on. And on a standard cotton program, so if you were to add one extra rinse on, then that takes up to, well, one hour 18, two hours, sorry, two rinses, one hour 34 and then three rinses, that takes it to one hour 50. And then if you go back to no extra rinses, it's an hour and two. So it does add quite a bit of extra time onto it. And clearly with the extra rinse, you're going to add extra water into the program. But for some people, the, the duration of the program and the amount of water it uses is way down the list of importance 
if it means you get a really good wash performance from the clothes. And then you've got the start and pause, so that once you've selected the program that you want, just press start and away you go. As far as the soap drawer, it's quite a standard layout for the main wash, pre-wash conditioner. Uh, you have also got the option to take it out, so just press the button on the left hand side here, take the soap drawer out. Uh, I'd always recommend just taking this off, so if you are going to wash it fully, then just remove this, you've got the clips underneath. Because uh, if you are going to put something like this part in the dishwasher, uh, or in a very high temperature wash, then I'd always recommend doing this part separate. Don't wash the front here, because uh, what you don't want to do is that if you wash this, uh, say if you pop it in your dishwasher, then it could uh, ruin the look of it, and you don't want to spoil the look of the nice shiny finish. And then when you put it back in, that just clicks back into place. One thing I do like about this machine is the huge door that it arrives with. Clearly being a 10 kilogram machine, you're going to need to have a good access to get all the clothes in and out of. Uh, first of all, you've got a handle at the top right here that opens out. Uh, that's as far as the door will open. It doesn't open all the way back, which I'll be honest is a little bit disappointing. Uh, I was hoping that it would go back a little bit further, but nevertheless, that's where it goes to. Uh, what I am pleased to see is that it's got the metal hinges and door catches. Again, it's something I comment on on all my videos on the washing machines because quite a few manufacturers, especially the cheap ones, are going towards plastic hinges and door catches, which is never a good idea. So well done Haya. Now, as far as the porthole on this, uh, you're looking at about 30 centimeters or just under 12 inches. So it's not the biggest on the market. Um, I, again, I would have thought they would have perhaps increased the size of it a little bit considering how big the door is. Uh, but nevertheless, we've still got a good size porthole to get the clothes in and out of. You will also find at the bottom here, you've got a drain. So that's, that's if you have a power cut, then it just enables you to uh, drain the water from the machine. You just got a little hose at the bottom here. Just pop a tin or a tray or something at the bottom and then pull that out and then you can empty the water. Also, you've got access uh, your access to the pump and the filter behind here as well. It's always recommended, if you are going to open that, don't do it during the wash. Uh, we've had customers that's done that recently, where they've opened that during the wash and they've got water everywhere, which is very unfortunate. So just wait till the machine's finished, completely finished, and uh, if it's still full of water, if you've had a power cut or something, you need to empty it. That's where you need to empty the water out using that drain first. I'll just show you around the back of the washing machine. Uh, first of all, you'll see that you've got the electric connection at the top left here. You've got the waste at the bottom left, and then you've got the water connection just hiding at the top right here. So everything is nicely spread out. Uh, you do get a new water hose with it. You do need a new connection. It's always recommended to try and use a new hose. If you've opened the packet, and if you wonder what these cheeky little things are, then these are designed to pop in to where the transit bolts normally sit. So the transit bolts are mandatory to be taken out. It's not an option. So you've, on this machine, you've got four bolts. Uh, I'm not quite sure why they've got one here. I think because the, the design of the machine must allow that on other machines that you do have a transit bolt in there at some point. So on this one, you've got four of the bolts. It is saying at the bottom here to remove me. So take these out and then pop these little plastic covers in. And then once you've done that, then just get the machine connected and you're ready to go. This model features something called a direct motion motor. And basically what that means is it uses frictionless magnets within the motor rather than standard brushes. And the main advantage is that it's gonna be a lot more energy efficient, quieter, and hopefully longer lasting. Now, while I'm talking about energy efficiency, you will see on here that it is an A performance. Not many machines within this price range are up to this category of a yet, uh, so I'm really pleased to see that Hayer have done a really, really good job. Uh, as you go down the list of the uh, energy label, just showing that it's for every 100 cycles, on average it will consume around 51 kilowatt hours of energy, proving that it's 10 kilogram load, uh, and then it's 50 litres of water. So, uh, And also the noise level at 67 decibels, that's something to have a look out for. Just have a quick look at the energy label on some of the appliances because at the moment, especially within the UK, 
energy prices have gone through the roof. So when it comes to using things like your washing machine, if you can buy more energy efficient machine like this, then that can save you a lot of money in the long run. If you are thinking of buying one of these machines, I have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. Hope you enjoyed this quick video on the Haya HW100B14939. I must admit, I really struggle to remember some of these model numbers. I had to refer to the model number on the energy label here. Uh, some of them just get ridiculous and sometimes I have to do three or four takes just before I can remember the model number. So I cheated a little bit, I just read it from there. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the video on this Haya washing machine. Uh, if there's any things I've missed, so if there's anything that you've come to watch the video on and I've missed it, then just pop it in the comments and I'll get back to you if you've got any questions on it. Also, if you have got one of these machines, if you've got a hair washing machine like this, it doesn't necessarily have to be the 10 kilogram or the one in this graphite color. Uh, but if you've got a machine like this of this generation, then let me, let me know what you think about it because I'd always appreciate the feedback. Thanks for watching.